Chris here, bad in the video, and today I am reviewing the March car pack for Forza Horizon 3, or Forza Motorsport 7, not a Horizon game. Uh, I'll be doing these every month, uh, or every car pack, I guess. It, it could be a fun series to do. Um, but, starting off here with the Lincoln Continental, not an amazing car at this car pack. Didn't really have any grip, it was heavy, didn't turn great. Uh, not a great car, to be honest. It's the only Lincoln in the game, uh, so I guess that's cool. But I made predictions, and I only got one correct, and you'll see which one I was correct on. If you haven't saw the video, I don't know why you haven't. Uh, obviously, then you're not subscribed, so make sure to subscribe down below. We're going to be doing these all the time. Uh, so overall, not the greatest uh, car for the car pack. Now, this is the... Um, I can't remember. This is uh, it's one of the old cars. Uh, it's not good enough for me to remember its name, I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, but overall, this this car, it had no grip either. Like, I am using all these stock, uh, but it had no grip on it, so that, that's cool, I guess. Uh, and you probably can't upgrade it to get any grip on it either. Uh, so right now, the first two cars, I'm like, nah, I wouldn't really buy this car pack. But we'll have to see what it looks like later. Uh, because the other car packs, I literally probably would not have bought any car pack. Even the, um, uh, like, none. I wouldn't have bought any just yet. This one... I thought this was going to be the Formula 1 car, but it was actually this, the uh, Brabham here. So this is one of my favorite cars in the car pack. It is actually the fastest one stock. I'm not sure upgraded or not, but it's the fastest one stock. It was pretty fun. It had a lot of grip, a lot of speed. Um, this is a incentive for me to buy the car pack, which obviously I have the Ultimate Edition, so I get it anyway. But as of right now, I, I wouldn't really know if I want to buy the car pack, but this car is definitely a plus. It's going to be good in the, uh, I don't know what, I think it's open wheel, something like that. Uh, but this car could be pretty good. It's a fun little thing to drive, especially around Catalonia. So uh, next car here was the Volvo XC90. This is the only one that I got correct out of the uh, predictions, which I made the video on before. Uh, so <laughs> I kind of expected this. I didn't know it'd be this quick though. Like. It's very quick, to be honest. Like, uh, I think it's electric, uh, and I think it has either a turbo or a supercharger, because that's what the prediction was. I'm not sure, though. I don't know my Volvos. Uh, but I've seen this car on the road sometimes, and I, I never knew that it was actually, like, this was the car, or the SUV. But <laughs> this one was pretty fun to drive, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, like, why, but it was. It was quick. It was quick and nifty, so that's pretty cool. Uh, on to the next car here. We have the Jaguar something something racing something. Uh, this car, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be the best one, but the had a lot of wheel spin. Uh, braking was good, aerodynamics was good, but it had a lot of wheel spin for me. Uh, probably because of all the horsepower it has. But overall, this car pack has been good, but I wouldn't exactly buy it. But maybe my mind will change after the next two cars, you'll just have to see but this car, it was okay. I said it wasn't, it wasn't above my expectations. I really thought this car would be better, uh, but it wasn't, and that kind of sucks. But now the next car, this was my favorite. Looks the best. It looks the coolest inside. Sounds the best, and has the best braking. Has the best acceleration. Maybe not the acceleration, but it's pretty quick. Has a lot of grip, and that was a rhyme. And I didn't mean to do that, but I did it anyway. But this is my favorite car. This car alone made me want to buy the car pack. So, if I had to buy this, I would buy it. Because this Nissan is honestly so, <laughs> it's so fun to drive. Like, if you don't have this car pack, you need to get at least the Nissan. I don't know if I know in the old game you could be able to buy the car, but that's Horizon. Uh, but this car, I'm gonna maybe put some upgrades on it. Just something a little bit to get it to the top and put a good tune on it. And that car could be really good. The Colorado, it's it's meh. I mean, it's a truck. It's heavy. It doesn't turn great. But what can you expect out of a truck? I mean, at least it sounds cool. I'm sure you can make it work. It's gonna be like that Xbox trophy truck thing. But honestly, like I I like trucks and stuff. It's just I don't know why they're in this game. There's more trucks in this game than there is in Horizon 3, and half of Horizon 3 is off-road. So. You know, that makes perfect sense. 
but the Colorado, not an incentive for me to buy it, but it came with it anyway. Probably will never use it. So to conclude, pretty good car pack. And that's the end of this video.